Sorry. Hey, honey, what's up? You don't feel well? Hey, come on. We can talk in my room. How does that sound? Don't worry, you're not in trouble. I just want to talk in a place where you're going to feel safe. And I know my room's messy, but look. It's got its wonders. It's tampons in a, in a bottle. I'm sorry. It's not about my tampon bottle, no matter how cool it is. What's going on? You hate your body and you want to self-harm? Oh, baby. You're getting hugs. Come here. You're getting hugs. I'm so sorry that you're in so much pain, but I'm proud of you. The fact that you can realize there's a problem with yourself and ask for help is an amazing first step. All right, first let's talk about the body positivity. Honey, something that I say all the time is all bodies are beautiful. It doesn't matter what your sexuality is or what gender you go by, what race you are, what religion you love, what body size. It doesn't matter who you are. All bodies are beautiful. You want to know what makes a body beautiful? The personality that goes with it. Hear me out. Picture in your mind right now what you see as an ideal body. Now imagine that body and that person with the most shittiest personality in the entire universe. Absolute asshole. They don't seem so attractive anymore, do they? Now imagine something you don't see as an ideal body type. That person has a great personality and confidence and just everything. All of a sudden, they look pretty beautiful, don't they? Loving your body takes time, and I can help you with that. But darling, you need to realize there's nothing wrong with your body. Mwah. You're perfect. Now, we need to get to the self-harm part now. There are a lot of things that could be making you want to self-harm your mental state, where you are in the world, or what you've come to me with right now is your body. I have some coping skills that could help with that. One, exercise and working out. Working out takes a lot of energy and time, but it feels great and it gives you that burn and that adrenaline rush. Working out gives you this adrenaline rush. When you self-harm, you get an adrenaline rush. But the problem is, is that after a little bit, it goes away and then you are left feeling just as bad as you were before. Working out gives you the exact same adrenaline rush, but it takes a little more time. And it improves your body, so it's like you are earning something. Number two, if you get ice and you put it on your wrist or on your body or even squeeze it in your hand for as long as you can, it will hurt like a bitch. You would think this would still be self-harm. You're wrong. It doesn't do any physical damage to your body, but it gives your brain the sense that you're in pain. You're able to get an adrenaline rush in a different way. Third, drawing on your body. Let me, let me, ah, I don't know where my red, red pen. Found it. Found it. Something that I like to do is when I want to self-harm, I make fake cuts with a pen. Or I draw little, you know, other things on my body. You can get makeup and other markers to make it look as detailed as you want it to look, as real as you want it to look, or as weird as you want it to look. And it will stay on your body for as long as you want, and even after a shower, there will still be a stain. Leaving you with the satisfaction of a mark without having to do anything to your body. And you can do this for as long as you want. Alright, love you baby.